Hey friends, this is another Webflow app review and this one is on Better Shadows by Diego. So Diego is a wonderful community member who's been building different Webflow apps and a lot of great Webflow sites for the community. All right, so I already have Better Shadows installed. Let's go ahead and start using it. So after it's installed, I have to click on an element and there we go. I can see what the shadows are doing if I play with the distance. So you can play with a lot of good stuff here. And this is really good because there's a lot of Figma designers who put a bunch of different drop shadow um, uh, values to a single element. And so it could get kind of confusing or a, uh, a lot of steps for a developer to uh, translate that into Webflow. So um, when it's all said and done, check this out. If I click outside and then click into it again, it added all of these values right here for the box shadow. Now, I don't want these. I'm going to change it to one of the presets. Like let's do, let's do soft and there we go. I'm going to click out and then back in and there we go. All the outer shadows have changed. Now, the thing that I want to point out about this is while it's nice, you have to think backwards if you're going to make it a rollover, a, a hover effect. Okay. So my first go at this was, okay, I'm going to apply this to the hover. So let me go ahead and delete all of these for now. Okay, so I've deleted them. And what I wanted to do was go to hover and then apply the soft, or actually let's do the long to the hover. Now, if I click out and then back in, notice how all of the outer shadow was added to the none state. If I go to the hover, it's also still there. So what you have to do with this app, if you want it to just be on hover is apply the uh, better shadow to the element and then you have to turn it off for all of them while on the none state. So all the outer shadows in the none state. And then once you're done with that, go to your hover and turn them back on. And so there you go. So I'm turning them back on on hover. So that's the only tedious part about using better shadows. But um, yeah, so now if I preview, there you go. Oh, and I need to add the animation. So let me go ahead and add a transition to this. So we have this, add box shadow, and there we go. So if I play it, and there we go. All right, so that's my review for Better Shadows. Really good app. Go ahead and start using it. Um, and yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. See ya.